Honest, just excuse. I'm just taking this all in. You know, I've, I've thought about this moment so much for so long, and just seeing you all in the same room, like me and Holly, love you all so so much. And I don't know when it'll probably happen again. Probably when I'm dead. So, <laughs> so let me just take it all in for a second. after Locke and I's we five years ago. I refer to it as that rehearsal, as Holly remembers. And I suppose many of you here remember that first interaction between us. I just remember arriving late and, and sitting across from me was, excuse me for being really cheesy, but this absolute angel. <laughs> When Holly briefly admitted to me that she had a bit of a crush on Connor, I thought I was in for an easy job. I thought, well, two similar age goths who both loved a dark beer and performing, surely they would be slow dancing together by the end of the week in the light of the full moon. And then I witnessed one of Holly's earliest attempts of interacting with this man. There was a large selection of older cast members in the room that night surrounding Holly, and I thought, I'll just hug everyone and show her how nice I am, you know? <laughs> The moment I've been waiting for arrived, and I finally went in for my introduction. What did you do? <laughs> you said the seven words I've carried with me to this day. This is enough for now, thank you. Over the next eight months, I would witness them interact like two teenagers. But through all the teasing and fake vomit noises I'd make from the corner, I was waiting on tenterhooks for something, anything, to finally happen. It was a culmination of months of texting, flirting, proclaiming, ah, we're just friends. And everyone, including Neve, was just screaming, for the love of God, will you just kiss her? <laughs> I think both of us knew it was now or never. I looked at you and you looked at me and Honestly, as soon as it happened, it was the most magical, intense, and hard-stopping moment in my life thus far. If everything would have ended right there, I, I just, I would have been happy life as I know it. If it would have ended, I'd be like, I'd done it. But from that moment on, my work as a wing woman was practically done. They went out for a few drinks together in secret. One thing led to another, and now we're at their wedding. Yay! I cannot think of a better venue than this beautiful park in Liverpool for our couple today to make this monumental commitment to one another. Holly and Connor have spent a great deal of their courtship performing outdoor theatre in green spaces across Liverpool, so this setting seems perfect for what Connor so aptly calls the season one finale. Thank you for giving me some of the most magical fairy, fairy tale memories I will cherish for the rest of my days. Thank you for trusting this Irishman with your heart and letting me hold your hand in the dark. You managed to be like a gothic bad boy, but also a fairy tale prince charming at the same time. You are kind, generous, and courageous. You're never afraid to put yourself out there. You're willing to be vulnerable. And I love you so much that I don't even mind that most of my friends and family now like you more than they like me. I will continue to dance with you in our kingdom. Keep our promises, know your secrets and make a tiny world wherever you are. Now and forever, it's me and you, my arms, my whisper, and your trust. You are blood of my blood and bone of my bone. I give you my body that me too might be one. I vow you the first cut of my meat, the first sip of my wine. I shall be a shield for your back as you are for mine. 
I will cherish you through this life and into the next. Now and always. Thank you for showing me what a true fairy tale ending looks like. Even if it took the best part of a year to get going. But we all know how much we love a good slow burn fantasy novel. <laughs> <laughs>